This type of grinder, in order to put a relief grind in it, you have to remove the bed knife. There's no way to do it any other way. The Dual Express, you can grind it with the, the rollers on and the bed knife in place. The Simplex, ideal one that we just watched, if you put a relief grind in it, you really need to take the bed knife out. If you're just doing a spin grind like you would with a Dual, you can actually leave it in. So those are some speed things. I can throw it on there off of a machine, spin it, throw it right back on, it's really fast. The problem with leaving the bed knife on is if the bed knife is worn really bad, <coughs> I'm not fixing the bed knife. I'm just fixing the reel and not the bed knife. I could face the bed knife and bring it back to a square edge, but I'm not really fixing the bed knife. So sometimes that can be a disadvantage, sometimes it's fine, because your bed knife doesn't need any other help. This one here is like the Dual Express. If I was going to put a reel on here, I would move the drive motor down. Simply put my, my reel on here. I could leave the bed knife on it, just like the Dual. There's a, a series of brackets over there. So depending on whether I had the front roller on or off or, or what I had, I'd have a bracket here. The front roller would sit on the bracket. I would bring it up until the stone just touched both ends of the reel. So I'd bring the reel back and forth until it just touched. I would zero these dial indicators out. They're electronic. I'd zero them out. And then I would slowly raise these up and spin grind it until I reached the desired amount of, of grind that I want to. The reason you have these is so that I don't bring one side up higher than the other. If you do, you're going to cone shape it. The only problem with this is there's no way of actually measuring to see if you started out with a cone shape. If the reel already is cone shaped and you bring it up until a stone just touches both ends evenly, you're going to grind a perfect cone back into a perfectly coned reel. I don't have any way of telling if it's cone shaped or not. The Dual Express has no way of telling if it's cone shaped. What they're basing their theory on is you start with a new reel, you don't ever cone shape it, you don't ever have to worry about it. But you have no way of checking to see if someone adjusted it wrong and wore a cone shape into it. Can you take a cone out? You can take a cone out if you know it's in there. Question is, how do you know that it's in there? Wouldn't that come one in more than the other? It's not, because I can actually move the stone up and down, and I'm going to bring it up or down until it touches both ends evenly. But I could be grinding at a diagonal if my reel is perfectly level. Can you put level on it or something? No. Make it level? No. They have some tools. There's a, a, a big dial caliper with big jaws on it that we have, but I've never really got to work very well, that will measure the diameter of the reel. So you measure this end and you measure this end, and you can kind of check to see. It doesn't work very well. There's only one tool that I've ever seen that you could check, and that's the one that you've seen with the Simplex. This is a tool sold by Ideal Simplex. And if I had a do-all and I had to use it, I would buy this from them. Not very expensive, but what it's designed to do is measure the diameter of the reel. They're not very expensive. I think they're like $13, $14. The way it works, it's got a magnet. You just stick it on. It's got to be below the surface of the reel. You pull it out here straight. You spin the reel. And it reads just like a tape measure or a dial caliper, actually, because it raises down to ten thousandths or thousandths of an inch. So the secret here is two things. One, you have to make sure that you're going perfectly round. You can actually put a tape on here and measure it at an angle, and it will be off. So you got to make sure that you're measuring perfectly round. 